How to use Skype for iPad In this tutorial, I will show you how to download and install Skype for iPad. I will show you the main settings for your account and how to add the contact, start the conversation, do a call and share the screen on iPad. Let's get started. How to install and create account on Skype for iPad This tutorial will show you how to download Skype for iPad, install it and create an account. Also, we will talk about the main settings of Skype for iPad. Now, we will download and install Skype for iPad. Let's open the App Store. Tap on the search from the bottom. Now on the search, write Skype and search the app. Near the app name, tap on the Get button. You might get a notice to log in with your fingerprint or password from Apple. Do that if your iPad asks that. Now Skype is downloading and after that we'll start the install process. After the install is complete, tap on Open on your iPad. To create an account or log in into your old account, tap Let's go. Click Sign in or Create. You can write your email if you already have an account or click create one for a new account. We will use a new account on Skype for iPad. On this page, you can use your phone number or email. I will use my email, so I will click use your email instead, but you can also use your phone number. Write the email and tap next. Write a new password and tap next. Write your first name and last name and tap next. Select your birthday and country. Now tap next. Check your email for the code you receive. We will take the code and use it on the Skype app. Write the code and tap next. Now write this CAPTCHA code so you can finish creating the account. Select the default theme, light or dark. Do not worry too much as you can change this quite easily in the future. Now Skype would like to access your contacts. I suggest tapping on OK. Tap OK. Tap OK to allow Skype to access the camera. Allow Skype to access the microphone. Tap OK. Tap OK to allow Skype to send you notification. You have now created an account on Skype for iPad. Let's check a bit the settings we have for Skype to understand the software better. On the bottom, you have the following sections. Chat, calls, contacts, notifications. Also, on the top right, you can create a Meet Now call and you can share the link to allow others to join. Also, you can create a new chat, a new group or a new private chat. Tap on calls. You can tap on the dial pad to be able to write a number to call. If you wish to see your contacts, tap on the contacts from the bottom. Another thing you can do is to tap on the profile picture, the round part from the top. Here we have the status, Skype profile and settings. If you tap on active, you can change your status. Also you can share what you're up to. You can tap on Skype profile to update your name and image. Let's tap on settings on iPad. Here you have lots of options on the settings for Skype for iPad. On account and profile, you have option to edit your profile picture, edit your email and birthday. Also you can add funds and manage how you are seen on Skype. If you click on the profile picture zone, you will be able to change the picture and set up who views your profile picture, public or only contacts. 
This option depends only on you and how you set it up. If you wish to have better privacy, I suggest you set it up only for contacts. If you click on your profile, you will be redirected to your Skype account on your current browser. Here, you can manage your account and subscription. Now let's tap on General. Here, you can set up your language. Also, you can modify the translation settings. On the appearance, you can change the theme for the Skype for iPad. You can use light or dark theme. Also, you can select the primary color, depending on how you like it. On calling, you have an exciting option. Tap on Call Subtitles. Here you can set up to show subtitles for all calls. This will help you much if you do not hear well. The last part of the settings is Messaging and Notification. You can check these options to see what is the best fit for you. How to add contacts on Skype for iPad? Skype is a perfect app to keep in touch with friends and co-workers. To add a contact on Skype, you will need to do the following. Tap on the contact button from the bottom right. Here, tap on the button new contact from the top right. On the search, you will need to write the username of the account you want to add, the name or even the email for the person who you wish to add. Now let me search a part of a username. How you can see, Skype for iPad found multiple contacts with this name. If there are multiple person with the same name, the best way to choose who is your contact that you want to add is to look at the picture. Now tap on add for the person who you want to add as a contact. The person you added as a contact needs to confirm your contact add. Now wait for the other person to respond. If you tap now on the back arrow, you will see the new persons you just added on your contact list. How to start a conversation on Skype for iPad? On the main page of your chats, you will have what conversation you started on Skype for iPad. If you wish to continue to talk with somebody, you do not need to start a new conversation. Just tap on an old conversation and continue the talk. To start a private conversation on Skype for iPad, tap on the button from the new chat from the top right part. Tap on a new person that you have not talked. To start a talk, write them a message. On a conversation on Skype for iPad, you will be able to send images, contacts, audio messages, location and much more. You can record an audio message if you do not wish to write. Click on the microphone and say what you want. After you have finished, just hit the send button. Let's see how you can send an image made with the camera. Click on the camera button. Tap on the button to take the picture. If you like the picture, just hit send. You can also swipe for apply effects to the picture. If you click on the plus button from your iPad, you will see you can send location, videos message, schedule call and even a pull. You can try every option to see how it works and use it for your benefit. How to create a new group on Skype for iPad? Group chats are quite useful as they permit sending a message to multiple persons and help you not to lose much time. For you to add a group chat on Skype for iPad, tap on the arrow from the new chat button from the top right. On this menu, select new group chat. You can also create a new moderated group depending on your needs. Moderated groups are perfect for when you need more control over the group. For example, a classroom or online presentation. You can use functions within moderated group to modify user roles, ban user from a chat and more. We will create a simple group chat for this tutorial, 
so click on the new group chat. Write a name for the group chat. You can also select the picture if you wish. Click on the arrow from the bottom. Now select the person who you wish to invite to the group. You can choose as many as you like. Please note that if you want to video call the persons from the group, Skype supports only a maximum of 50 persons on a video call. After you selected the person who you wish, click on Done. Now you have created the group on Skype for iPad. Let's check out the settings of the group on iPad. Tap on the top part where it says the number of participants. Now if you go on the top of the page you will be able to change the group's image and name. Also you will be able to share the link to join a group if you click on this button. Activate the share group via link. You will get a link that you can send to somebody to join the group. I would suggest not to activate this option if this is a private group. If you forgot to add somebody to the group, here you will have the possibility to add more people. If you tap on show more, you will see the rest of the participants. Also, on the bottom of this window, you will be able to activate or deactivate notifications, chat history and also allow the group to be shared via link. Also, here you will be able to leave the group as well. Let's get back to the group. On a group chat on Skype for iPhone, you will be able to send images, contacts, audio message, location and much more. Also, you can record an audio message if you do not wish to write. If you tap on the plus button, you will see you can send location, video message, schedule call and even a pull. You can try every option to see how it works and use it for your benefit. You have now created your group on Skype for iPad. How to call on Skype for iPad? Calling Skype contacts on Skype is always free, but to call a mobile phone or landline requires Skype credit or a subscription. First, in the chat zone, if you already talk with the person, you can quickly start the call on the iPad. If you do not find the person in this zone, tap on the contacts or calls and find the person there. Tap on the person who you want to call. Now on the top you have two buttons, a video icon and a phone icon. If you wish to start a video call, click the video icon. If you want to start an audio call, tap on the phone icon. So let's tap on the audio call. Now the call is in progress and we are waiting for the other person to accept the request. Please note, if the person has accepted the call, you can quickly turn on off video or audio at any time of the call on your iPad. You will have three buttons on this window. A microphone, a camera and an end call button. On the bottom, you have a chat button. If you tap on this, you will be able to send a message on the chat. Near the chat button, you have another button that takes a screenshot of the call. Please be careful that the screenshot will be shared in the conversation with this person. Tap on the three dots menu from the bottom. On this menu, you can invite other people to the call. You can invite multiple persons after you have started the call. Here you will see other options like Turn off incoming video, Turn subtitles on, Start recording and Share screen on iPad. If you turn subtitles on, then Skype will try to write what the person said. This is a perfect option for those who do not hear well. Also, if you wish to keep a copy of the talk with the person, you can press on Start recording. Please keep in mind that both of you will get the record, so be sure to tell the other person you record the meeting. If you wish to end the call on Skype for iPad, tap on the end call button. These are the main options of the call.
How to create a private chat on Skype for iPad? Skype private conversation uses the industry standard Signal protocol, which allows you to have end-to-end -end encrypted Skype audio calls and send text message, images, audio, and video files. The content of this conversation is hidden in the chat list notification to keep private information. To start a private conversation on Skype for iPad, tap on the button from the new chat from the top right part. Select New Private Conversation. Select the contact you'd like to start the private conversation with. An invitation will be sent to that contact asking to accept your invitation. This invitation is valid for 7 days. If they do not accept before, then the invite will expire and you will need to send another one. Once your friend accepts your invitation, your private conversation will be available on the device they accepted from. If you or your friend would like to move the conversation to a different device, accept the invitation from the device you want to use. Just a note, if you switch devices while maintaining a private conversation, you might have to go through the steps again on your new device to continue your private conversation. Other members of the private chat will be notified of the device change. So, if you will change your iPad with your Mac or other device, you will need to confirm the new private conversation. You can also switch between your Skype and private conversation by selecting the Skype or private tabs on the top of your discussion. This is how you create a new private conversation on Skype for iPad. How to do a group call on Skype for iPad? With the Skype video chat app, group video calling for up to 50 people is available for free on mobile devices, tablet or computers. If you wish to create a conference call on Skype for iPad, please follow these steps. You have more options to start a conference call. You can call a person and then add others to the call. Another option is to go to a group chat and use the call buttons from the group page. The most easiest way that we will talk about is the following. Tap on the calls button from the bottom. Click on option new call. Now select the person who you wish to add on the call. After you have finished, tap on call. The call is starting. Like the simple call on the conference group on Skype for iPad, you have the same options. You will have three buttons on this window. A microphone, a camera and an end call button. On the bottom, you have a chat button. If you tap on this, you will be able to send a message on the chat. Near the chat button, you have another button that takes a screenshot of the call. Please be careful that the screenshot will be shared in the conversation with this person. Tap on the three dots menu from the bottom. On this menu, you can invite other people to the call. You can invite multiple persons after you have started the call. Here you will see other options like turn off incoming video, turn subtitles on, start recording and share screen on iPad. If you turn subtitles on, then Skype will try to write what the person said. This is a perfect option for those who do not hear well. Also, if you wish to keep a copy of the talk with the person, you can press on start recording. Please keep in mind that both of you will get the record, so be sure to tell the other person you record the meeting. If you wish to end the call on Skype for iPad, tap on the end call button. These are the main options of the call. How to share screen on Skype for iPad for you to start a share screen on Skype for iPad, you will need to call somebody or a group of persons. You can call somebody from the chat list. Click on that person name and then click the call button from the top. I will tap on calls. 
tap on the call button from the top. Select the person who you wish to call and tap on the call button from the top. Select any from this option. Tap on the three dots menu from the bottom right. Here, tap on share screen. Be sure Skype is selected and tap start broadcasting. If you are using this feature for the first time, you will need to allow Skype some permissions. If that happens, tap allow or OK. Now screen sharing is working. If you wish to stop the sharing, go and click on the stop share button. You have shared your screen on Skype for iPad. How to activate dark mode on Skype for iPad? If you want to activate dark mode on Skype for iPad, tap on the profile picture from the top center. Here, tap on settings, last option from the menu. Now, tap on appearance. Here, you can easily enable dark mode on Skype by tapping dark on the modes option. Also, you can change the primary color for the Skype app. You can choose what color defines you better. You also have high contrast dark theme if you like this, but I mostly like the default dark mode. Please note for high contrast dark, you will not be able to select a color for your customization. You have now activated dark mode on Skype for iPad. How to blur background camera on Skype for iPad? For you to blur background on camera, you will need to start a video call with somebody. So let's start a video call. Let's tap on calls from the bottom. Tap new call. Select a person to video call. After the video call has started, tap on the three dots menu from the right. Enable background blur toggle from the iPad. This works quite well and the blur is nice. Please note, on iPad you cannot add the background as you can do on Windows and Mac. Now your background is blurred on your iPad for Skype. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. You can also watch more videos from the right. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.